In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Stephen died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. On the day of his baptism, Stephen put on Christ. On the day of Christ's coming, may he be clothed in glory. Let us pray. O oh God, who are mercy for sinners and happiness for your saints, give we pray to your servant Stephen, for whom we perform the offices of burial, a share with your chosen ones in the blessedness you give, so that on the day of resurrection, freed from the bonds of mortality, he may come before your face through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill, a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep 
and a time to throw away, a time to tear down and a time to mend, a time to be silent, a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the, the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. <clears throat> he has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can phantom what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is a gift of God. I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing can be taken from it. God does it so that people will fear him. Whatever is has already been and what will be has been before and God will call the past to account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
There is no need for me to write you about the service to the Lord's people. For I know your eagerness to help, and I have been boasting about it to the Macedonians, telling them that since last year, you and Achaia were ready to give, and your enthusiasm has stirred most of them in action. But I am sending brothers in order that are boasting about you in this matter should not prove hollow, but that you may be ready, as I said you would be. For if any Macedonians come with me and find you unprepared, we, not saying anything about you, would be ashamed of having been so confident. So I thought it was necessary to urge the brothers to visit you in advance and finish the arrangements for the generous gift you had promised. Then it, be, it will be ready as a generous gift, not as one grudgingly given. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things and at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As, as it is written, they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor, their righteousness endures forever. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, my disciples are your gift to me. I wish that where I am they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you have sent me. I made them known to you through your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may also be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. There surely is a time for everything under the heavens. And one of the special times that we experience every day is the sunrise and the sunset. And so too, birth and death are very special moments in the life 
of each human being. For Steve, the sun has gone down for the last time. It is from God that we all come forth into life, and it's to God that we return when we leave this life here on earth. Now, Jesus spoke the words that we have in our gospel this morning to his disciples just as he was about to be arrested and led to his own death. And in those words, he tells them that he loves them and he urges them to love one another. He spoke to them about the meaning of his own life, and the meaning of his death, that he was now going back to his father, going back to his true home in heaven. And he also promised his disciples that he would return. He left them a priceless gift, the kind of peace that the world can never give any one of us. After 63 short but wonderful years, Steve is gone from us. But he has not disappeared into nothingness. A loving brother and uncle has gone to the other side of life. And just as the sun will rise again, we believe that Steve will rise again. And as followers of Jesus, we trust that when the sun sets on our own lives, God will welcome us into that place of light and peace where we will once again be reunited with all of our loved ones and enjoy their company once more. My brothers and sisters, Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for us. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in him, we join our prayers together. Our response is hear our prayer. In baptism, Stephen was given the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Our brother Stephen was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love and gather them to the eternal kingdom of your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The family and friends of our brother Stephen comfort, seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come with grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother Stephen. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be near, O Lord, we pray to your servant Stephen, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of conciliation so that should any stain of sin have clung to him or any human fault have affected him, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death so that we might all escape from dying, as one man he chose to die so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Remember your servant Stephen, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but open the same word, and my soul shall be I'll start with communion on this side of the church, and then I'll move to this side of the church. Right. 
Christ. The body of 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 Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servant Stephen, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself.
Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Stephen in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Stephen, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. <laughs>